Hi, I'm Paul Reynolds, and we're taking a first look at the Kindle 2, Amazon's second-generation version of its popular electronic book reader. Just like the old one, the Kindle 2 allows you to purchase ebook titles from Amazon, which download wirelessly to the device. You pay $3 to $10 a book, and there are no connection charges through Sprint's 3G data network. The connection is fast, and it only takes about a minute to download a book. The Kindle 2 screen is about the same size as the old one. The device is slightly longer, but it's easier to slip into a bag because it's about half as thin, and they've dropped the rubberized backing. Navigation is a little better on the new Kindle. The old scroll wheel has been replaced by this five-way joystick, which makes it easier to get to the content you want. Also, the bars on each side of the screen that move to the next page or the previous page now pivot in. That takes a bit of adjustment for people like me who've used the old Kindle and are used to the bars clicking out. The screen now has more shades of gray, which means photos and pictures look better. Text looks pretty much the same which is to say OK, but there's still less contrast than with a book. You can adjust print size, though larger print means more page turns, of course. But the page turns are faster than on the old Kindle. I found they're now about as fast as turning the pages of a book. The coolest new feature is text-to-voice processing. Hi. After all, I'm 33 now. You can have any text read out to you. The voices are a bit mechanical, but Amazon claims people get used to them. You can speed them up or slow them down. If you switch back and forth between audio and reading, the Kindle will keep your place. Battery life has been boosted by a quarter, Amazon says, and it claims the Kindle will now run for four or five days without needing a charge. But like the old Kindle, it conserves energy because there's no backlighting for its screen, which means you still can't read your Kindle in the dark. The Kindle's audio reading feature is a cool new convenience, and other enhancements are nice, though subtle. But at $359, the Kindle is probably still more for serious bookworms than casual readers.